create yourself a new project and set this to either 30 or 60 FPS. Preferably, if you're looking for that nice smooth motion, 60 is your go-to number. From here, you want to drag and drop your videos into the timeline. And you want to enable the 3D mode right here. If you don't see yours open, you can switch modes and enable this feature. Now that you've got yourself the 3D mode, we can switch over to the custom view. And we're just going to reposition all of these images in the correct order, starting with the hike video first. We're going to change the film all the way to the back. And you can also have some fun with this and you can give it some rotation. We're going to give it a tilt. And if we switch back to a normal custom view, you can also select all of your videos and just make them go further back. And now all you need to do is get yourself a new camera. Press OK. And then you also want to get yourself a new null object. You want to enable the 3D mode, enable the motion blur, and then pick whip this onto null one. This will allow it to control the camera. Open up the transform and you just want to go ahead and get yourself the position X, Y, and Z. We're going to drag these further out. And for the first movement, we just want the camera to fly up. Drag the second one up. We're also going to give it a rotation, a little bit of a tilt and a X rotation as well. And it should look something like this. Now at the moment, it's a little slow. So we're just going to select these keyframes, move them closer. And we're also going to select the keyframes and you want to press F9. This will ease it ease the keyframes, making it a little bit smoother on the animation. So once you've got yourself the first animation, we're also going to zoom in to this first one right here. You can enable a proportional grid, which will make it easier to see the center. And we're just going to set the position and focus on the first video. And this will look like this. From here, if you wanted to have a nice smooth motion, but you didn't want the camera to stop, what you would do is you would slightly go a few frames before this keyframe, and you would create yourself a new null object. Same as last time, enable the 3D mode, motion blur, and then pick whip this one onto the second one. So basically, the second null will control the first one now. And if we get ourselves a position, X, Y, and Z, same as before. You want to go further out, and then this time we're just going to make the camera look over to the other image or video. Same as before, you want to ease it, ease the keyframes. And now we have a simple animation where they drop down. And we're also going to drag the keyframes a little bit further out, giving it a few more seconds. And there we go. From here, you want to repeat the same steps for the other video as well. The last one, we just want this one to slide off the frame. So for this one, all we need to do is once again, get a final null 3D mode, motion blur, and then link it to free. Open this up. Position X, Y, and Z. Slightly go further out with this one. And then we're going to apply a rotation. We're just going to minimize all of the null objects. And you want to also enable the motion blur on the video layers as well. And this will make it look so much smoother. Every time the videos will move, it'll give it this nice motion effect. There's nothing exciting going on. So we're going to start editing the graphs to make this look even better. 
starting with the null one, we want to open this up and you just want to select the position and get yourself in the graph view right here. At the moment, we have these two simple humps. The first one will be the camera panning down or panning up in this case. And then the second one is the little zoom in this video right here. What you want to do is you want to select this bottom area, drag this further in, and then drag this further in. So what this will do is this will spike it up and give you this nice speed ramp. You want to make sure you are in the speed graph right here. Same goes for this one. We want to slightly ramp this up. At the moment, it's not going to be as effective because the camera is a little bit too close. So we're just going to re-edit this shot right here. We're just going to slightly zoom out. You can apply the same thing for the X. So you just want to drag this up and this one back. This one is once again, the speed graph. Same goes for the Y. We also want to do the Z as well. You then want to apply the same for the other nulls as well. So open this up, get yourself the position, slightly ramp this up. Now with this one, we want to make it nice and aggressive for the speed graph. Same goes for this one as well, because we want it to quickly end. And if we have a look at this now, there we go. That's looking a lot better. And then finally, if you wanted to add yourself that nice little bit of a bounce right near the end when it lands, what you can do is you can switch over to the value graph. And in here, if we select the Y, we're just going to adjust this, drag it down slightly, and just make this ramp a little bit smoother. And this will give it this really cool look in motion. We can also do it to this one as well. If you want to, you can also edit the null too. What we're going to do is we're just going to have a look at the Y. And we're just going to smoothen this out a little bit more. We'll make it go quicker. And there we go. That's looking a lot better. Let me know what you think of this video. And as always, I will see you all in our next video. Bye.